Very excited to have received this order today. It is my late Christmas present. Yeah, I was supposed to receive it during <clears throat> before the uh, during the Christmas break, but it kind of got delayed, and it's fine, justifiably so. I mean, I've been waiting quite a while for this to arrive, and good things come to those who wait. Let's open it up and take a look at what we have here. Nicely packaged from the looks of things. Open her up. HD0. HD0. HD0 FPV goggles. This is probably the analog adapter. And let's get this out. We will go right into unboxing this sucker, shall we? So there we have. HD0 FPV goggles. These things are going to be so sick. They are starting to take pre-orders again. <clears throat> and I can tell you, they, I think they, they've already sold out. The second batch. All right, let's open this up fresh from DHL delivery. And what we have here, still more layers to go through. Okay, quick start guide box card. That later. <clears throat> Goggles and accessories. We'll slowly take that out. Look at that. That's pretty hefty. Plastic uh, cover on the optics. Protect the lens. Diopters. HDMI out. HDMI in. SD card. I think that's for what? For more updates? Yeah, it says FW. Head tracker. AV in and out, I guess. Very nice feel to it. Fan. I'm guessing that's the power button. Power. Supports up to success, but they suggest if you're going to use success to make sure it's on a kind of like a switch, because uh, if you plug it in, it might spark and blow a fuse on here. Okay, let's see what else we have in here, okay? Let's get this out of the way. Accessories. <clears throat> on the side here. Nice case. Or bag, I should say. And power cables. Faceplate for... I don't know, looks like one's for narrow, one's for flat. Face profile, I guess. Keep that there. Foam. And Velcro to stick onto the faceplate. Big old strap, nice and thick. What's in here? Looks like cables for firmware updates, and I'm guessing that's a microfiber cloth for cleaning the lens. And I'd be correct. Stickers, cloth. And also I got this too. This is the uh, analog module adapter. Let's see how this looks. That screws in here, and that's supposed to clip in the side side here. So let's do some uh, size comparison, shall we? Because you usually don't see that a lot of that on <clears throat> on YouTube or online. 
that is the HD0. This is the HDO2s, which with the VRX on it. You can see how how much smaller profile that is. That that's what I'm going for. Okay, side by side. These are the Orca ones, FPV pilot ones. So you can see that's probably oh, like this. You see that? Side by side by side. That. This. So, yep, I'm looking forward to getting this all set up. <clears throat> In terms of heaviness, HDO2 is definitely heavier than the FPV or the HD0. This one too. If I had a scale, I'd probably use it, but I don't think I have anything that's registered stuff this heavy. I might. Let me take a look. That's as small or big a scale I got, and I I, I don't I don't think this is gonna gonna help much. We'll try it anyways, just for shits and giggles. 212 grams without antennas on there. So like, that's, yeah, like I said, it's not gonna, not gonna help much to try that again. Yep. These. Oh, these are already 345 HD zeros. If I can balance it on here. 372. Again, I have no idea how useful that'd be. But yeah, very, very happy to receive this. Looking forward to trying these out. And uh, we'll see how they perform. Online reviews from a lot of places have been very positive. So I do not see how, how uh, my experience would be any different to, from theirs.